I'm going to mount this bracket on here. I'm using some blue Loctite on these screws. Just to uh, help make sure that they don't come out of there later on. Like I said, these are M5 machine screws. this bracket. Now one thing that I'm going to do Just a couple of real thin ones. And I will explain why here in just a second. These shims are eight thousandths thick. Got that bracket mounted on there loosely. Go ahead and snug these up just a little bit.
Okay. I know you. Now let me see if I can move the camera over here where you can't see that guy when you can. Anyway, you might not be able to see it 100%, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this table back and forth. I want this rail as close as I can possible get, get it, possibly get it to the uh, same height on both ends, or at least for most of the travel on here. I don't know if this power feed is going to be too noisy or not, but let's give it a try here. <laughs> Okay, that's roughly over the top of where that bolt is. And as you can see, as I was moving that across there, it went up about four thousandths. I'm going to tap that down right there. Back to zero. I'm going to move this table down to the other end. I can't get all the way to the end because of the way I have this indicator, but I can get close to it. Snug those bolts up a little bit more right there.
about two and a half thousandths there. Okay, you can see I've moved the dial indicator around so that instead of pressing down on this face, I'm up against this face here. And now I need to check this and make sure that it's the same from end to end. And like I mentioned a while ago, the reason that I put the shims in behind these bolts is because the first time I put this on here, it was the same at each end where the bolts were. But it was sticking out just a little bit, maybe a thousandth of an inch in the center. So I went ahead and put the shims in behind the bolt so it's it's not touching in the center here. So now maybe it'll be straight all the way across. Let's check it and see. <laughs> about four thousandths of an inch, three and a half thousandths of an inch from one end to the other. Really expected it to be perfect, so let's uh, run it back and see if maybe it's a problem with my indicator. <laughs> about three thousandths from one end to the other and it was closer than that before I put those shims in there. I'm not really sure why. Two thousandths off from one end to the other. Let me re zero this indicator and try it again here.
still showing 2000s. I think that's going to be close enough. The 8000s we initially had, I didn't like, but I think 2000s from one end to the other we can live with. I think this bolt's pretty tight. I don't think I can get it any tighter. No. I think we're going to have to live with that 2000s. I think that that uh, reed head has enough play in it to allow for 2000s to be made. 